Were companies too quick? Were they too slow? Did they handle it well? Did they handle it poorly? Here's the thing. There is no one right answer for it, and every workplace will end up being different. What I will say is this, is that if you're in some kind of a knowledge-based industry, yeah, the pandemic was difficult on everybody, obviously, but if you could work from home, if you were in the kind of industry where people could work from home, the odds were actually that you did fairly well over the course of the pandemic. In fact, you might have actually thrived. You might have actually grown. There are all sorts of businesses in all sorts of sectors that managed to do, if not really well, at least well enough. As much as it might have felt difficult, still, people got paid, people made money, people got bonuses, people got raises, people got promotions. So if you have an employee who worked from home through the pandemic and all that personal difficulty, all the toll that it took on us, and worked for your organization and saw that everybody did okay over the course of working from home, you actually can't mandate that that person comes back to the office full time. Or at least if you are, what you can't say is, it's critical that you do this because we all just lived and worked through the most critical period of our lives. And if you work in a knowledge-based industry, the chances are your organization probably did okay. It's not that you want people to come back to the office. It's that you're saying to them, you must do this or you have to do this, because they'll say, well, well, no, I don't. I just spent two and a half years working from my bedroom while my partner was working in the living room, while our dog was barking in the bathroom, and somehow we're all still here. Like with many things that have to do with running a great workplace, it's often not the what, but the how. Are you mandating that people come back into the office, or are you saying we would like you to come back into the office? Are you saying here's why? Are you demonstrating a respect for their schedule? Are you recognizing that a lot of us have downsized our office spaces, so maybe they're not quite the great places that they were to work before? Are we recognizing how many people moved out of our city centers? It's never as simple as just a black and white rule, but this one in particular, people have lived through two or three really difficult years and probably managed to be smart, strong, contributing employees over that period of time. We have to treat them like that if we're gonna ask them to come back.